Does anyone else wish this episode came with a side of tissues and a whole bunch of massage? I'm still completely exhausted from this episode. They start out with Jamie about to go to his hanging. We are subjected to watching men hang over and over again, and they're very businesslike about it. Jamie and McCory are standing there, and McCory is unlike the others who go up to the gallows. He tells the Redcoats what's what before they throw him over. Then we see Jamie's name come up, and he does fight back, but just to no avail. He's going up to the gallows, and I'm like, what is going on? He's in handcuffs, and his legs are chained. They go to put his head in the rope. And all I can think is, this is a dream. It must be a dream. He must be thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow. Wake up, Jamie! But he doesn't wake up, and they are about to kill him. But then he is rescued by Black Jack Randall. Um, this is no knight in shining armor, but at least Jamie's not going to die right this minute so we can all breathe for a second. <sighs> But only a second, because it's going to get bad. Blackjack Randall takes him back to a dungeon, and as Jamie tries to free himself, the guards bring him bread, and then Randall comes in and gives him the choice of how he will die. And Jamie tells him he will never surrender to him. And all this happens while his grody friend Marley looks on. Meanwhile, Claire has taken matters into her own hands and has decided she is a British lady of noble birth and appeals to Sir Fletcher's kindness to try to get Jamie out of prison. But it doesn't work. She doesn't get to Jamie, and as she walks out, she's just falling over in grief throwing up, and then Murtaugh comes and scoops her up and carries her away. They go back and all the men are gathered and Claire is super annoyed with Langus and Rupert because they're gambling, drinking, and not taking anything seriously. She goes over to deliver a serious set down and it turns out that the men were losing money on purpose to two Wentworth jailers so they could get information. And they found out that Sir Fletcher has an hour where he is completely unavailable and that's the perfect time to break into the prison. So they all form a plan, and Claire and Murtaugh sneak in to steal the keys, and she is off to rescue Jamie. But the prison is large, and finding him is difficult. But while she's looking, she comes across a door that leads outside the prison. She breaks it and just kind of stealthily closes it so that she can use it later. Obviously, if you're breaking out of prison, you don't go out the front door. We've all seen Shawshank Redemption. You go out a back way. When she finds Jamie, his hand is destroyed and he is mostly unconscious. She tries and tries to get him free and he keeps whispering her for her to leave, but she doesn't. And of course, Jack Randall comes back and finds her. At this point, we've already seen Marley try to kill Jamie and now it's more choking and almost dying again. But when they start harassing Claire and it looks like they're going to abuse her, I love it when Jamie jumps up to save her. It's like he's been saving all of his energy for this one moment. And now for what I think were the most important scenes from this episode. When they show him taunting Jamie and he asks him about his back and if he thinks of him when Claire touches him in bed, I hate Jack Randall. And at this point, I am going to say he is the creepiest guy on TV. The moment when he offers himself for Claire. It's all he has left to offer. And when Blackjack nails his hand to the table and then kisses Jamie in front of Claire, oh, I just wanted to crawl under my pillow and hide. And Claire's screaming, don't do it, don't do it. But he does it anyway. But Jamie kisses Claire and tells her to go on. And he tells her that he loves her. Blackjack walks her away, safely, right into the heap of dead people. When Claire meets in McRannock's home, once again she's with someone who doesn't really want to help her, but they end up doing it anyway because they loved Ellen, Jamie's mother. Once he sees the pearls Jamie had given Claire, he wants to help Ellen's boy. It's interesting to me that Blackjack Randall really wants Jamie but can't have him willingly, and that Frank wants Claire and she's left him. It's like this character, even though Frank is good and Blackjack is bad, they both have unrequited love. The episode wraps up with Jamie at the hands of Blackjack Randall, but Murtaugh with a plan to save Jamie. I cannot wait till next week, but then I'm also sad because then the show's over for a whole season. Let me know what you thought about this episode. 